and some tools that you're going to use while you're taking the mist writing assessment. You'll see my cursor is down here um, right by where it says a big blue M. You're going to find that in your dock. Um, so if you'll just click on that, it'll open up this new screen and you are a student so you will click student and either myself or your teacher has handed out a ticket with your name on it and if you look at the very bottom of the ticket your password is printed there so I'm going to take one second and type in my password and click log in and it'll take it a second it'll bring up a screen and it just basically asks you to make sure that that you're logged in as the right person so my name is Stacy Murray so that's correct and then um, then you're gonna click you'll you'll see um, the TCAP at the top you'll see TCAP now I've already been in this test so it didn't take me to the TCAP screen it took me just directly to the the directions. So here you'll notice that I used my highlighter tool and I highlighted this and now I have an X button over it so if I click it again it unhighlights it. So when you when you log in on your computer we'll go ahead and ask you to use the highlighter tool to highlight some text because that'll be really useful to you as you're reading through the two texts that you're going to read so you can go back and find that text evidence and remember only to highlight what is important and you don't need to highlight everything. You also have something called a notes um, so you can type um, type yourself a note like um, the second sentence in the second paragraph is important evidence and then that way you have that saved and you can go back and refer to it so when I click save and close it goes away but notice when I click on it again it has saved that text so I can refer back to it so those are some of the tools that you can use here's your scroll bar I think everybody's familiar with that and then we also have the zoom in button I know that I, I like the text to be a little bit bigger so I can read it so I like to zoom in um, and then if it gets a little too big then you can just zoom back out so I'm just clicking back and forth on these buttons okay now this page we're gonna talk about a little bit more when we get to the actual prompt but these are explanations of the different tools so we have a cut for the scissors are a cut then we have copy so it's got two pieces of paper right here so that's copy and then this is paste this is so you can indent your paragraph and this is undo okay and then this is redo so like if you accidentally click undo and you're like oops I didn't mean to undo all that you can click your redo button and it will it will put it back and again you've got your magnification um, buttons and then here you've got spell check All right, and here are our directions. I'm not going to take the time to let you read through all the directions. We're going to go over that when you're actually logged in. So I'm going to hit the next button. And here I am on the first question. There's only one question because it's an essay question. And I actually typed in some text before I started this screencast. So you can actually see something that I've already written. Um, this is the first text and then if I scroll down I'm using my two finger scroll but you can also use this scroll bar notice that I highlighted where the second text started because I wanted to be able to tell the difference between the first text and the second text and over here I have my prompt so that's where you're gonna want to use either your pow tide or your pow tree and we'll talk about that so um, I've got some text down here and I'm going to highlight. I'm going to show you how that copy and paste works. Okay, so here is my copy button and then I click my cursor where I want the, the sentence to go and then I paste. So I actually have three of the same sentence and I don't want that. I don't think they're going to want to read that. So now I can use my cut button to get rid of duplicate sentences if I have that and I think you're familiar with some of these buttons here here's my undo button notice it undid what I just did and then there's my redo button so hopefully this will help you get through your test I'm gonna pretend like I'm finished even though you know one sentence is not an essay so you're not gonna do that on your test 
and we're going to do a practice test together today.